It's just so outrageous, this uh, drag queen performance, so-called, in, uh, what is it, Ankeny, Iowa, uh, suburb of, uh, of Des Moines, I guess. Um, so grotesque. And, uh, you know, what, what's happened now, after the, the protests, after this became kind of a national scandal, uh, now you have uh, the fake media and the, the education establishment and the drag queen movement all defending this as if there's something wholesome and great about teaching kids uh perversion, uh, grooming children. Uh, so for those of you who don't uh, remember this story, for those of you who didn't catch it, uh, a little bit of a review. Uh, in May, uh, the a school in Iowa, Ankeny, Iowa, brought in a drag queen, a Skylar Barning, uh, also known as Complete Moon, to do some kind of perverted weirdo dance where he's showing his butt to these kids. Uh, we have a, a little clip of that so you guys can see. Yeah, and, and uh, these brainwashed kids you can hear in the background. I mean, this, this is what they're doing to your kids, by the way, in government schools, folks. Uh, and so uh, in, in response to this, uh, an activist mom up there, her name is Kimberly Reich. She's the uh, Iowa Mama Bears founder. She actually showed up at the school board. You can see her right there wearing the same kind of a ridiculous skimpy outfit that this weird guy uh, was wearing. And, uh, you know, this guy has a reputation, this complete moon guy. Uh, one of the things that these moms did was they showed uh, pictures of this guy with, you know, I, I assume it's fake blood all over his face. I mean, you see, I mean, this is just overtly satanic, right? This is diabolical. Um, and yet this is what's happening in your government schools. But uh, folks, this this kind of stuff now, I mean, it, it, it has gone uh, very quickly. I mean, it was just a few years ago where we were reporting here um, about the, the drag queen story hours, right? Weird guys, uh, some of them convicted sexual predators, people who had been convicted of molesting children. Uh, you know, they're dressing up as these freakish caricatures of, of of, of slutty, whorish women uh, in skimpy outfits, and they're coming in and they're rolling around on the floor with the kids and reading them LGBT stories, and uh, I guess this is somehow supposed to teach them tolerance or something. Well, it very quickly graduated from uh, this kind of stuff to now actual drag shows being put on in the schools, and um, you know, they, they told us all along, oh, this is never going to happen, right? You're, you're just being conspiracy theorists. Well, now, they're overtly defending it. Uh, and so the, the Des Moines Register, this uh, outrageous fake news propaganda outlet, uh, probably one of the biggest newspapers in that area of the country, uh, they ran a, a headline with uh, how drag shows help Iowa LGBT kids and young adults find community. OK, yeah, that helps them find community. Uh, also, uh, another weird publication, uh, it's called Them, um, and um, it's, uh, it's defending this stuff. They actually quote uh, one of the students there, uh, this uh, student, uh, Carson Doss, uh, who, who went to this high school, uh, performs as Vivian Von D, uh, was quoted as saying, I'm allowed to be different because that's what makes me me, and that's what's going to bring me farther in my life and help me live a happier life. Um, yeah. Okay. Folks, this is what the government brainwash camps are grooming your children to do. This is what they're grooming your children to think. And, um, you know, what comes next, right? It, it went very quickly from, uh, hey, we're just talking about uh, uh, health to your children to, hey, we're just introducing your kids to LGBT stuff so that they could be inclusive uh, to, hey, we're just bringing them drag queens to read them stories to, hey, we're just having drag shows. What is next, folks? What is next? Uh, well, we know what's next, right? They're encouraging little kindergarten children all across this country to pick a new gender, uh, to pick new pronouns, uh, to go and, and have their genitals chopped off, to become their true selves, uh, make them dependent on the uh, so-called healthcare system for the rest of their lives, uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars to, to get these so-called gender-affirming treatments. And uh, folks, I'm telling you, unless people speak out and demand an end to this stuff, uh, it's going to get worse very, very quickly. Uh, here in my state of Florida, uh, the, the conversation is rapidly shifting. Uh, we have the governor and uh, some of our leading lawmakers uh, proposing efforts to protect children. We've even had some uh, policymakers here call for the criminalization of this kind of stuff, where uh, uh, parents would be prosecuted for taking their kids to these uh, weird drag queen shows. And I, I don't know what the answer is. I don't know whether uh, criminalizing parents is the right answer. Probably not. Uh, clearly, these parents have something wrong with them. But um, you know what, folks? I'm telling you, 
Uh, this stuff is not healthy. This stuff is dangerous in the extreme. And, and I frankly don't understand how parents could continue sending their children to these pseudo educational institutions. I mean, you know, they're not getting an education. They're telling you, right? Uh, we just got the data out of Illinois recently. Um, they're, they're literally not learning anything. You've got school districts where 2% of the kids can read, okay? 2% of the kids can read. So they're not learning how to read. They're not learning how to write. They're learning gender stuff, drag queen stuff. Um, uh, you know, I can't think of very many places that would be less safe for children than these perverted and indoctrination centers masquerading as schools. Uh, and I'll tell you again, parents, if you won't protect your children, nobody's going to do it. You know, calling up your school board member, having a protest, you know, that might get the FBI to show up at your doorstep. But the school board is not going to protect your kids. Your lawmakers are not going to protect your kids. It's either going to be you or nobody. Nobody.